I ain't gonna lie, me and Ola got some, got a song we're working on dying, like. Oh, for real? Yeah, we got some shit in the cut. We just waiting for him to get home so we could hit the streets the right way. I'm trying to have it already turned up by the time he come home so mm. we could just get this shit back in full swing. You said working on dying produce a uh, song? A song by me and Ola. Who in working on dying, like Oogie Man or? I think Oogie and 50 was on. On guys you're watching kids take over right now i'm with someone who i want to sit down with for uh for a minute now I'm with benji blue bills for sure how's it going right now likewise likewise so you just got to new york yesterday yeah mm -hmm. i came here just for y'all man i appreciate it i feel like we both got each other at the right time like i think it is super early for you but i just want to say i think you are one of the most like the most slept on artists right now <laughs> for how talented you are you know yeah i'd be i'd be feeling like that too but yeah you know what i'm saying Everybody get their time to shine. Yeah. Well, I don't even know how long you've been in the game or whatever, but I think for me, it was when I heard Red Dot when I was like, bro, why is everyone not going crazy? Yeah, over Red this? Dot. That Red Dot was really like. When, I, when it really feel like, I feel like first start like, popping off going crazy like getting real traction for real like that one is insane if you guys are watching i feel like that's if i could recommend a first song to anyone to to watch or to listen to of yours i would say red dot for sure yeah, yeah red Dot. that's what you would say too for sure yeah i would say red dot and now dirty ops yeah yeah that one's dirty like ops too. Fuck my little dirty op. If you try and kill a killer, then come dance. If you a worthy op, do my murder dance on top of your man. for sure what you uh what you do today i know you just flew in yesterday yeah I didn't really do shit today. I just kicked it at the hotel for real. Watch yeah. TV and shit. What you watch? Uh, what the fuck? Snowfall. Oh yeah. Snowfall. Goddamn. Hey, snacks and shit. You uh, you come to New York often, or? Cause I was a little yeah, confused. Yeah. yeah. I begin. It's damn near like my third home, fourth <laughs> home, something like that. Like I be out here so much. Yeah. Like Thank really you. through AR. Like mm. my boy AR. Like I met him in like 2016, and I've been coming out here since then. Like yeah. At first, I was fucking with A Side Mob. I mean, I still fuck with A Side Mob, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I first like playing my feet at in New York. Like, I'm not really got them. Did a lot of shit out here. How'd you get in touch with A Side Mob? I know, I think like Ills, he directed one of your videos or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy Ills. Yeah. So what? What was kind of like the like? Who did you meet in A Side first? Like, was it Ills or Ed? First, I met Ed. Oh, you met A Side Ant? Yeah. A Side Ant. Yep. Yeah. I met him first, and that's. I was, I'm really the closest to him, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's who I really met, and then he introduced me to everybody else, like Rocky and got now. Oh, you met Rocky? Yeah, yeah, I Damn. met Rocky for 12 and Eels and all that, you know what I'm saying? And then they seen Eddie fuck with me, like, who is this young man? They fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's hard, and I think he's also, correct me if I'm wrong, so you were born in the same, in the same area as him, kind of like, so you're from D.C., that's where you were born, yeah? Yeah, I'm from D.C., the District of Columbia. Yeah. He's from Baltimore, Maryland, but it's all the DMV, so it's like yeah. D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Right. But yeah. You rep at, um, like, Atlanta a lot, though. I thought that's where you were born. So, like, how did you make your way there and, like, make that kind of, like, your base, I feel like? One time when I was in the sixth grade and I came out to Atlanta and I went to school out there, but I got put out of school and I had to go back to D.C. and live with my grandmother, but my mother still lives in Atlanta. I got in did middle school. And then came back to Atlanta, lived with my mother for high school. And then I've been just got man kicking it out there ever since yeah. then. Like, that been my stomping ground. Yeah. How was, how was Atlanta like when you were that young? Like, were you. I ain't like it at first, for real. Cause you know, you didn't like Atlanta? No, nah, when I first moved there, I ain't like it because when I'm from, everybody just be outside. Like, I could just wake up, go outside, what we on, you know what I'm saying? And I just, it'd be stuff to do. I'm got folks to play with. I know everybody. And I moved to Atlanta. And, I don't know nobody, and it's yeah. like down south, it'd be like kind of country. So you might live in a neighborhood where don't nobody be outside. Like it's just houses and cars. Like yeah. you go outside, you're gonna be out there by yourself, just riding a bike. Like so. What was yeah. your neighborhood like? Was it like all white people or like? No, nah, what it wasn't all white people. It was like a old black folks neighborhood, but wasn't nobody outside and like. Mm. Nobody. It's so quiet. No, I notice where sometimes I go to Atlanta, and like if I go to someone's house, right? 
it's like there's all these big houses, right? But no one's no one's outside. It's yeah. a, it's like you're in a sitcom kind yeah. of. <laughs> Type shit, yeah. You know what I mean? DC is not like that. DC everybody outside. Like yeah. it's thick outside. How'd you kind of find day. like people like to hang out with and shit in Atlanta like when you were young? I I know a lot of people do skateboard. I skateboarded probably like from the time when I was like 13, 15. Just like to ride down. I just knew how to ride down the hill. Like I ain't never know that folks was really out here doing tricks. Doing tricks. For, like, I knew about like spinning around and shit like on two wheels. But <laughs> then I, then I see folks like really. I'm like, damn. I always thought that shit was cool. And then when I moved to Atlanta, I was so goddamn bored. Like, yeah, and I started going to the skate park. Me and folks at the skate park. I'm, I know a lot of folks in Atlanta do skateboard. That's actually a really sick way to network. I feel like people, when they skateboard, or if, if they're just at the skate park, like you meet hella people there. Oh God, you yeah. ain't got a skateboard, just be up at you the just skate chill, park. Yeah. Oh God. Like, and if you're from DC, you move to Atlanta to like get out the hood, like. Mm. Was from, DC kind of rough then, or? Yeah. I've never been. And DC was rough. Yeah. Yeah, DC a rough city. Everybody tough, like, everybody like that. Like, for the most part, Ain't, like everybody feel the same way like ain't too many people like gonna be intimidated like you can't be just be no and don't nobody run dc like ain't no big bad wolf in dc like you kind of gotta know how to move or mm. you gonna not be around quick like violence did crime they like that shit to the extreme like mm. shit was the murder capital like for real. yeah shit no joke and the smallest shit if you look at dc on the map Shit, it's, you can't even see it unless you zoom in. It facts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of killing going on in DC. Damn, what's, like, what's kind of like the the craziest thing you've seen out there? I mean, you were like mad young too, so like you shouldn't be seeing crazy stuff, but. Craziest thing I've seen out there. I done seen like niggas like shot up, like on the ground bleeding. Folks died and they put sheets over them and shit, yellow tape. You know, yeah. just, Damn. I see that in that, you see that in Atlanta too, though, that yeah. shit. It's crazy early. Right. What was kind of like, cause you know, you said you got, you got into music super early, right? Like what was like the artist you had on your MP3 where you were like, this is the guy that is making me want to like make music. Chief Keef, for sure, Chief Keef. Mm. I was in Chief Keef, I'm like, damn, he a young nigga and he going crazy. Like, and he doing all the shit I do. Like, and he man, man, really changed his life with this shit. So I'm like, let me goddamn. Let me get fired this shit. But I ain't always felt like I was hard enough to even drop music. Like, mm. So I was like, let me go ahead and just really put the work in and get good at this shit. Like practice, practice, practice. Now, cause I, cause I went back. I was like on your SoundCloud and I was listening to your older stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And it was good. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not gonna lie. I think that your progression from like your first song to now is so insane, bro. Because I feel like you, you really not peaking but like you're in your element like now like this last year yeah like dirty ops red dot gtfo like i feel like you perceive it like that because i don't drop that much music so you hear my my older stuff and then a lot of time will go by mm. before you hear my next song and but that don't mean just because i ain't dropping the music don't mean i'm not making it so mm. i'm still practicing pressing making songs making songs getting harder yeah. And then the next time I drop a song, it just seems like, boom, oh, yeah, like, and then now I'm going crazy. But really, y'all really ain't heard nothing, like. Yeah. I'm, these are the songs I'm just loading up with, like. Yeah. I got way harder shit in the cut, like. Nah, for sure. I mean, you were just playing some shit, like, right before the interview, and I was like, I, like, that should be out, you know? Like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm sure you want it out, too, but. Yeah. I, want, I do want it out, but, yeah. you know, everything got happened at the right time, so. Yeah, I'm real, I be trying to be real strategic when I drop music. Like, I don't like to just flood, like. I, I think there's there's sick artists who are, who are so good, but they do that where they flood their music, and it just makes you want to listen to them less, you know? Cause it's you know like, what I'm saying? When you over flood, flooding is cool, but over flooding, like, just yeah. going too crazy. Not for sure. I, mean, I would say, like, bro, like, your flows and, like, your cadence is what you would hear in like street music, right? But but you don't rap over like generic trap beats. You rap over like, bro, sometimes like you could say like hyper pop, like sort of rage, although I don't like that word. I know what you mean. Yeah, but- I but, know what you mean. I don't like, I don't like the word rage, but same, same. I, don't, I don't know what to call it. It's just, it's just a new sound to yeah. me. It's just something, something different than what's traditional. Yeah, but I was also a surprised just, because that doesn't like, that actually doesn't exist a lot. There's not many people that have like, 
you know, like rap, kind of like like make street music, but yeah, on like those beats. authentic street music on these type of beats. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't nobody. Like, Why do you think that is? Like, you're like one of the only few ones to do that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they don't know how to do it. Yeah. What made you want to do that? Like, is it because you were the people you listen to rap on those type of beats, and you're yeah. like, yo, let me just like. I was like, they hard on them, but I'm, it's like this shit ain't street. So I'm like, let me go ahead and keep it in the streets one time. Yeah. And just that shit coming out crazy so i'm like oh yeah this what i'm on like right it's me nah and i and i love the, the up-tempo shit too like yeah i love like music that make you bounce like mm. for sure so who are you listening to then that was rapping on those like rage or hyper pop beats Lil uzi vert he probably inspired me to start rapping on these type of beats oh for real yeah who uh well like how do you go about your beat selection then because i know mayday is like he's hard yeah, Mayday, that's my main man. That's yeah. my main producer right there. Um, I know if the beat is hard, like, as soon as it come on, because I just know, like, what I would want to listen to. I think, bro, there's uh, there's so many producers, especially in New York, that you got to work with. Like, I just, like, put it pairing people together. I feel like there's, a, there's this group called Solo and Dawn, and they make, like, amazing beats. They're, like, a, a producer group. Um, but you should definitely work with them. You said what, what their name was? Solo and Don. Solo and Don? Yeah, they do a lot of like Yeet stuff. You know them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tap me, tap me in with them. Definitely, definitely. I think one of them that actually follows you too, his name's Lunchbox. He's a producer and artist. Oh yeah, that's my homie. Oh, so you know Lunch? Me and Lunchbox yeah. been homie for years. That's my yeah. real homie right there. For sure. Do you but have you music know? with them or? Um, no, nah, we ain't got no music, but that's my real life homie. Like, you know, um, you know he, he was producer. Yeah. yeah, he did like Shaq West stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and then he done switched over and started going crazy with yeah. the rap. Like, so, Shorty a different breed. Lunchbox a different breed for sure. Yeah, tapping with his whole group though, I'm telling you, they're insane. They do a lot of his beats too, you know? Solo and all? Actually, there's a guy named Benji in it. Benji Cold, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta work. Solo and all, you gotta tap me in with him. I will, I will. Bro, I know you um you hang around Ola Runt a lot, you know? Like that's, that's my brother. That's your fat yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How'd you like get tapped in with him? Like, cause I know when you moved to Atlanta, you probably met hella people and he's from Atlanta, so. Really? Through my brother Capo, long live Capo. Long live my brother Capo. That's how I, I met Ola. Really, cause Capo was Ola baby mother, brother. It just, that's just how it happened. Yeah. It's on some street shit. What's your guys' relationship like? Like, did you like, I know he's locked up right now, but before that, would you guys like hang out a lot, make music? Hell yeah, we got hella music. Like, we might got a couple tapes worth of music. Oh yeah? Hell yeah, just to be with him every day. Oh God, we was in LA. Man, we was in on Front Street. Like, I'm telling you, we done been, we been through all type of shit. Like, yeah. that's my real life, bro. Damn, I mean, do you feel like do you feel like being associated with him like kind of helped your rap career? Like you got like a bit of his fan base like looking at you. For sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Have For you sure. been um, talking to him at all? Like. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. talk to him all the time. He call me damn near every day. Yeah. When's yeah. he When's he getting out? Shit, I'm just gonna say soon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put him out there like that, but sooner sooner than you think. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if you guys make some actual like more music like once he's out. I feel like that'll. I ain't gonna lie, me and Ola got some, got a song we're working on dying like. Oh, for real? Yeah, like we we, we really got some, we got some shit in the cut. I'm just waiting for him to get home so we could hit the streets the right way. I'm trying to have it already turned up by the time he come home so mm. we can just get this shit back in full swing. Yeah. You know what I'm you said working on dying produce a uh, song. A song by me and Ola. Who and working on dying like Oogie Man or? Um, I think Oogie and Fifty was gonna be. Oh for real? Oh, that'd be hard, bro. I'm trying to hear that. Something that's crazy to me is um, I've been seeing like you and Lucky hang out a lot, and um, he posted uh, that video you posted yesterday on his story. That's that's my real life friend. Like, yeah. it ain't too many people. It ain't too many. It ain't too many people as close to me as he is in the world. Like when I told you I first started coming to uh, New York, a long time, I and mean, then like 2016 and shit, lucky was too, we both ASAP babies. And he'll mm. tell you that too. Right. We both ASAP babies, we met through AR, we was goddamn sleeping in AR crib, like in a dungeon, like under some building in New York, like just a space in there that he done made his crib, like man, 
Motherfucker used to be flooding out the ceiling. Like, <laughs> we used to sleep on the man couch, and then we got down. We just bonded through that. And yeah. We've been close. We've been close since then. Damn, I've been seeing you guys been closer, like, lately, because he, you've been hanging out with him on his tour and shit like that. And mm-hmm. you you saw Lucky when he had, like, not nothing, but, you know, when his fan base was much smaller, to so, now you go on the tour with him, and, bro, this guy sells, like. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen some, one of my actual, like, real friends go that crazy like that shit inspired me for real like, yeah i ain't never seen nobody that close to me just like blow up and, like and like the whole world of that man like he's on the globe like mm. with lucky bro i don't know i think um people kind of see him as like an underground legend right but and I don't, I don't know how he feels about that because i don't think an artist wants to be underground and if he's selling out shows like that i don't think he's underground um that nigga, that nigga ain't underground no more yeah <laughs> Ain't, ain't nothing underground about that nigga now. You, I'll be seeing his shows. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't underground. But I guess they wouldn't have got... It's, they just gonna say that's the sound. Yeah. But yeah, it's more of a sound type thing. Yeah. But it ain't underground no more. That yeah. shit on top of the ground now. <laughs> yeah. what, do you, uh, what do you talk to him about Like when you go on these tours? like Does he ever give you advice on just, you know... Cause like I said, he came from kind of nothing to like now having sold out shows. Like yeah, he tell me kind of like focus on what I really want to do and like fuck the bullshit and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And don't let and don't let people like get me mad or like you know what I'm saying? Get inside my head and like you know what I'm saying? He just be be talking to him about a lot of shit. Yeah, but I don't know like. On tour, it's probably hard, but like, did you guys actually get time to like make music and? Yeah, lucky on my uh, lucky on campaign blue. Oh, he's gonna be on it. Yeah, for sure. Is he gonna be like the only feature? Yeah, he is the only feature. Lucky, that's my real friend. That's why he, that's why he a feature on it. I used to like try to get features with folks and shit, but this rap shit, this rap shit get political. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit, you don't never know who who gonna do what or who gonna end up on what side of this shit just weird yeah. like so i just be staying in my own life i feel that do you feel like in the past like two three years like you've noticed people get like way too political when it comes to like yeah i feel like shit been political but now it's on the internet yeah yeah so everybody can see it how really political shit is shit mm. shit been over political i would assume that like if if music is music like if the music is too good right like i don't think people end up caring you know like lucky for example i don't think he gives a shit bro like it's he knows your your heart as an artist you know so yeah that's my brother like, right oh god i'm too hard you can't you can't hold back the music like you know what right. I mean? if the shit hard it's hard like yeah. motherfucker try to paint me however they want to but when you press play you, you know i'm coming right well, that's for sure what about um even BK the ruler, like she took you on her tour. Hell yeah, she let me open up for her at the Atlanta day. That was in Atlanta. Like, hell yeah, that shit, that shit was turned. That like that was probably like one of my most turned performances. Like yeah. some people in people in the crowd knew me and shit. And they was like really going crazy. Like that shit, hey, fuck me up. I'm like, huh? and every time I got damn do this, they get that. I'm like, oh shit, I could keep doing that. I'm like, I do every time I do that, it get to yeah. go crazy. Nah, hell yeah. Yeah, I saw that video actually. I saw the video of the crowd performing. Yeah. That was like one of your best shows. Yeah, hey, I probably did that shit like nine times out there. Yeah. I kept doing that little move. <laughs> do you notice that like a lot of the, the younger generation in Atlanta is fucking with you? Like BK. I think like Tana might have been at like one of the shows too or something like that. But hell yeah, the kids is they pushing the shit forward the most. I feel like. That's what most of my fans is, is just straight the younger generation. Yeah. God, turning them up. Have you have you tapped into like the the kids in Atlanta? Like, I don't know if you know of like Southside Silhouette, Rolling Thrax, Hard Rock, like all those guys. I heard Rolling Thrax music actually today. Oh, today? Yeah, and I asked I asked my homie who it was. I shit saying hard. Oh. So that's the first time I heard them. I ain't heard about the. Uh, the rest of them, but I heard Rolling Thrax shit today and shit was hard. Yeah, no, hell yeah, bro. I think you should tap in with him. They're like the, those kids are like 18, probably even younger actually. And I think they're like the next, next wave, you know? Yeah, yeah, put me on to them. You know, I'm open, bro. If, if, as long as it ain't no political shit involved in the right. time, I'm open to working with folks. I saw uh, Yachty follows you. Yeah, yeah, that was more recently. 
we spoke, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got we got a song. Oh, that's that's coming out? I don't know if it's gonna come out, we got a song though. Yeah. We spoke. He said he fucked with me. Called me to pull up to the studio. Yeah. And pulled up mid track. You know, you said it's early for you and you kinda of have like a strategic plan, right? What do you think is kinda of gonna take you to at like the next level? Just dropping more or Yeah, dropping more and visuals and definitely more shows. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna watch this shit go up like yeah. Y'all gonna see how I'm coming for real. No, I'm, I'm trying to see it, bro. Y'all ain't seen shit yet, bro. Yeah. yeah. They say if you put 10,000 10, hours in anything, you a master. I done been past, been past 10,000 hours. Yeah, no, you seem like a hard, hard worker, bro, for sure. Yeah, I've been past 10,000. Yeah. Shit, easy. I mean, our, our whole thing is called Kids Take Over, right? To like young people watching right now, what's like the main piece of advice you would give just from like what you've experienced? Of, of doing music for a while. My main piece of advice would be to perfect your craft. Make sure you is actually hard. Like, make sure the music you're making actually is moving people and you getting good responses from your peers. And that's how you know you hard and you progressing. And just practice, 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 and you'll get hard. You just, gotta, you just gotta put the time in. Facts, not for sure, man. Well, I want I want to watch this interview in a, in a year and see like where you're at. You know, think about to go crazy. Um, I'm, I wonder too. Now you're gonna, bro. So, this is Benji Bluebills. You guys are watching. Appreciate y'all, boy. Fire. Yo, what's up, y'all? Thank you for watching that Benji Bluebills interview. I love putting you guys onto new artists and new music. Uh, be sure to follow the Instagram if you haven't already. You know, we post a lot of discussions on there um, at Kids Take Over. And then obviously, sub to the channel. I feel like I would say this, but if you're not subbed to the channel yet and you watch our videos, like, there's just something wrong with you. So definitely do that. Appreciate you guys and I'm gonna catch you in the next video.